being called into the neonatal care unit one day, I was shocked to see this little, little tiny baby born prematurely. And they asked, Father, could you baptize the baby? I'd be happy to baptize the baby. And they gave me an eyedropper. I put three little drops of water on this child's head. I said, what's the baby's name? The baby's name is Cole. I said, so, was it a family name? No, I love Cole Porter, Father. Okay, fair enough. And I said, there's a picture of a golden retriever inside the little incubator. What's that? That's his guard dog. Oh, that's the family dog. The dog's going to protect him. I said, I think I can one-up. <laughs> oh, we've all had a beginning. We've all had a beginning born of love, willed by God, and the Lord delights in you. This is an opportunity for all of us to return the favor, to delight in God. The wonderful music before Mass and during Mass is our attempt as a parish to serenade God. On this holy night, it's our lullaby to the baby Jesus. We hear in the readings the story of the birth of Jesus, how Joseph hears in a dream and receives clarity that, yes, this can be done. This is the will of God. We know that when our mothers carried us, she was thrilled. Yes, we know about birth order. The first time was wonderful. The last time was great. In the middle time, there's no pictures. But nonetheless, <laughs> for that nine months, she delighted in you. <laughs> and then she said, take care of your little sister. The birth of the Christ child is a reminder to us that we all have a beginning and we're supposed to move forward in our lives towards wholeness, towards holiness, to maturity. As much as we enjoyed it, as much as you loved destroying all your parents' heirlooms, we have to grow out of childishness, both in life and in our interior lives. We're called to stay up late. Now, you remember when you were small, you couldn't wait to stay up. You're going to stay up late for Santa Claus. You're going to hear, I know I can hear reindeer hoofs. I know this, I can move it. And you'd pass out like that. And you wake up the next day, what happened? Where was I? I was going to stay awake all night. Would that you could sleep like that when you're older. It doesn't happen. You're awake all night. So I would have caught him if I, if I had these problems. In the creed tonight, we'll all be invited to genuflect at the words of the Incarnation. We'll direct you when to do it. It's a wonderful thing, because what else can you do when God became like you, but fall down and worship? We need worship. God doesn't need worship. We need it to get our perspective right. Because at one time or another, we all think we're God, especially if you're the firstborn. In fact, they never got over that. We know that. <laughs> They're the best, the brightest, and the first time, and this is great. We're all called to be humble. And who shows us the way? But God, God becomes humble. God could come in any way that the Lord wanted. Instead, a helpless child. If you've ever, ever babysat a child, you become helpless. What do you do? How do you, how do you get them to eat? How do you get them to sleep? How many times can you change a baby in an hour? It's amazing. I babysat my nephews once. They carried me out of the place. It was traumatic. And then I know and I'd chosen the right lifestyle. We look at the baby Jesus, and sometimes we just like a statue. But if we pray, we've begun a conversation. But remember, Jesus started the conversation. If you ever visit your grandparents and they have more than one grandchild, they have all the pictures lined up, not their own children, the grandchildren. And the grandchildren come in and say, oh, Nana. And they move their picture to the front and their cousins to the back. Because you, you have to be nice to them, but I'm the favorite. God moves your picture to the front. God delights in you. You were the dream of God. So we fall down and worship. We come to the stable. We kneel down. We remember the wonder of child 
imagination. Remember the wonder of being a little one, looking at the trees the first time, and being more delighted in bubble wrap than we were with the toy. <laughs> Remember that. And when our parents brought us to the crash, says, look at the baby Jesus, and you whisper because you know you don't wake the baby up. As little children in Waterbury, the holy city, the new and eternal Waterbury, we would go to one of the churches, the big, big, big church downtown. I don't know which one it is. They're all big. And we'd kneel down with our grandmother. And she, she's from Ireland, so this is what they do in Ireland. Don't, don't criticize. She says, now, be a good boy now. Get me a piece of straw. Why not? Because I'm going to put it in my purse. Why? Because I'll have money the rest of the year. Now give me the straw. <laughs> so I make the mistake. I'm at St. Augustine's in the south end of Hartford, where they're all Italian. And I said, you know, this is what the Irish do. And they all set up straight. You're kidding. No. Knocked over the altar. There was no straw left. <laughs> Amazing. What's that? We call it the sacramental imagination. The Catholic imagination is, this is like that. Worship is like life. But we take a moment to say, what is this about? It's about God delighting in you. And you come for a moment just to be loved, to be that adored and beautiful baby again, and to introduce the little ones to the very mature experience of salvation. We only learn when we're humble. We don't learn and say, I got this, I know this, I can handle this, I can't handle this. We learn when we're humble. We learn when we're like a child. Not to be childish, but childlike. The Christ child reminds us to be in awe, to listen to the story. Christ child gives us our beginning again, a beginning out of darkness, a beginning out of sin, a beginning out of evil into goodness and light. It is our beginning and the Lord is our end. The Lord delights in you, and here you are, singing a lullaby to the Christ child. What a marvelous way to say thank you for the gift of life and love and family and friends. Merry Christmas.